Hey everybody, I got something super exciting to show you guys today. This is my brand new Crestliner MX-21, 2021 model. And today I'm gonna do a walkthrough on it to show you guys what I like, what I dislike, and just kind of my overall thoughts. I picked this boat about four days ago. Got the motor broken in uh, the past two days and about to go out on the lake today. It's uh, a pretty chilly Memorial Day Saturday. So we'll uh, uh, see how that goes. But. Let's take a look at this boat, show you guys kind of how I got it set up and, you know, what I like and, you know, just kind of walk through it. So we can start right here with the back. Um, right here I got the uh, Merc 250 Pro XS 2021 model. This thing is a beast. I'm a long time Yamaha guy. I've always loved Yamaha motors. My old boat had a uh, two-stroke Yamaha on it that was just a beast and never quit. I heard these new ones are built um, similar to the Yamaha motors. So far, I'm very impressed with this thing. Comes out of the whole great, um, awesome torque. I mean, just overall very impressed so far. <clears throat> All right, right here we have two eight-foot power pull blades. Um, you know, I just think that, you know, with any full-size boat nowadays, you kind of have to have these. Attached to the motor is a six-inch hydraulic jack plate by Atlas. It's uh, the black version. I think it looks pretty sleek. Haven't really played around with it too much. Um, but uh, cause I, as for breaking in, you usually keep it all the way down. So I'm gonna mess around with it today considering the boat's mostly broken. And uh, yeah, so let's hop in the boat and see what we got here. We'll start in the back by the battery compartment. And I apologize for the wind. The wind is, is uh, the wind noise is bad, but here we go. So what I got back here is I have uh, three, oh, my phone's, my phone's freaking out. Um, so what I got back here is uh, three Group 27 standard lead acid batteries, and then one Group 31 AGM cranking battery. That's where I run all my electronics off of and my pulls, um, and obviously my motor. Um, attached there is a little kill-all switch. That actually only kills um, the, uh, the electronics. I'm still able to use my trim, which I, which I like a lot. So it's pretty standard. Also, if you look back here, I mean, there's a ton of room for at least, you could probably fit at least three more batteries back here if you wanted to i don't know if you uh if you follow john cox he made a video he has like six or seven lithium batteries back there absolutely insane um but yeah so that's that and moving up so right here is a day box there's two of these um they have a drain in them if you wanted to put ice in them make them a cooler i don't know i probably use them for my co-anglers um they're a decent size not huge but you know enough for to fit some gear in and then here is the live well um live well's got a divider uh, pretty standard um just a it's pretty big though and also nice things too is um for all you guys that turn and fish a lot all the new boats have this but a lot of old boats don't the padded top i mean i've i've killed bass before an accident you know with the old latches they hit, hit the bass in the head or just uh, just a aluminum or just hard plastic top that uh so this foam this foam is a nice touch i like that um also right there's the gas i think this is a 30 gallon tank i'm not quite sure every time i fill it up puts them in about 20 22 so and i haven't ran it completely dry let's move to the cockpit here so this is what i got so in the cockpit you have i have a humbird helix 9 right there um here's all the switches uh live well Recirc, nav lights, bilge, horn, gauges, pretty standard. Um, so there's two options for this. You can get the third seat, which I got, which also doubles as a step stool. I like that in case I have a couple friends out or, you know, we're not fishing, we're kind of hanging out. Um, there was another other option was having like another, like a, like a coin um, box and, you know, with cup holders and everything, which I think is great. However, right here, right in front of me is the same oopsies is the same thing so for me you know it was, it was either have two of those or a third seat i don't know i thought the third seat was a good call i like it let me know what you guys think then moving up we'll uh we'll start in here the main middle compartment i mean this thing's huge uh i would say i probably have average to maybe slightly above average uh of for an avid tournament angler gear so and this fit it all very easily and also if you look way back there i probably didn't have another foot and a half uh, let me see if i can get back there another foot and a half of storage room which i think is really cool so i mean this thing has plenty of storage you can you can for sure fit all your gear 
I mean, unless you have, unless you have an insane amount of gear, but there's, that's why there's more compartments. Oh, get this thing open. So here's the one thing that I, uh, I won't say I have an issue with, but uh, I was having problems with earlier. So those rod, um, rod holders, I couldn't get a seven foot four rod in there. So I don't know if I was just putting it in, if I was putting it in incorrectly or if there are certain slots that hold longer rods. However, I couldn't get a seven foot four rod in there and I was having a hard time getting them stacked in there. I think it's good. Um, I like it, but it just wasn't for me, uh, for the way I like to set, have my rods set up. So whatever, I turned this into a storage area. I have, you know, my life vest, my throwable uh, cord, some tools, my net, ropes, you know, whatever. And my two lights are in here too. I have my front light and then I also back, back light. So that's good. Also, these, uh, I know it's pretty standard nowadays, but these hydraulic, um, whatever, not hydraulic, but you know what I mean. Those are nice. Um, and then over here, we'll go on the other side. So this is where, I don't have all my rods in here yet. So this is about 10 rods. Um, and I mean, there's room for another 10, maybe 15 more. This thing's pretty deep. I fit my 7.4 in here really easily. And I have a bunch of 7.3s and 7 foots. And uh, I think I had a couple of high, like 6.10s, but they all fit in there very easily. So I think this is gonna be my my personal rod compartment. Um, I just gotta get it by some rod socks to, so they don't rattle around too much. And then up here is just the, also, just for reference, this front deck is absolutely massive. This doesn't even do it justice. I can lay across this thing. It's unbelievably huge. I've, I'm really impressed with that. The fishability, I, mean, I had another guy up here fishing with me and it was like, you can fish too easily. It's, it's as if you were fishing alone. So up here I got my 36 volt 112 Ultrex. I have a Humminbird Helix 9 uh, MDI and then Chirp and GPS and my Garmin. The only thing that that's 93, 94 SV. I'm not 100 sure. I think it's 94 SV, 93. I don't know. I, this, it's one of those two. I just don't know exactly which uh, which model it is. But basically, this is just it's just a nine inch unit that runs off my Panoptics. So I like that. One thing I recommend for the Panoptics. I've done a ton of research about this online. Is underneath here. I have a 12 volt, 12 volt Dakota lithium, 23 amp hour battery that just runs off the black box and the, and the puck. This actually runs off my AGM. So if you look into this, um, this is separate power than the black box down there. So you can run this off your starting battery, which I have, and you could run the black box and which is attached to the transducer off the um, lithium. It's mostly for disturbance and making sure you have a clear image. I have yet to really dial in the panoptics. It is, um, for all you guys out there, for all you that have it and have dialed in, like that's awesome. Um, I'm still learning. It's not, you know, it's, I, I thought I was just gonna plug it in, be able to see the see the whole bottom of the lake and catch a million bass. Not that easy. Um, also, another thing too, is the uh, new Ultrex has the built-in um, transducer. I like that. I think it's nice. Um, that way there's less cables running up and down the twin motor shaft So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I mean so far. I'm very impressed with this boat. I like it a lot uh, My top end speed. I haven't really got it going going hard yet, but I was getting high 50s uh, Mid high 50s and that's with the jack plate all the way down trimmed all the way down So I got a lot of room to play with and that was just during the breaking period You're not supposed to um, trim up or you know, you're supposed to put the highest possible load on to the motor when you're breaking it in. So that's how I had it. So today I'm gonna to try to open her up and see how fast I can get her. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, final thoughts, actually I actually have a question for you guys. Um, give me your opinion on this. So for all you guys that fish rough water, you know that those Ram mounts, I don't care how, I told them to get the heavy, the most heavy duty one. I don't care how heavy duty that is, that thing will bounce around. There's nothing worse than when you're sitting in four or five foot rollers or worse and you're, units your thousand dollar units just banging against the uh the uh, wall or the floor or whatever so i was thinking about getting like another wave tamer i see how a lot of guys have them side stacked or stacked on top of each other i don't know if i had the room for the double stack of this way but i would like to get the side stacks so i have plenty of room so let me know in the comments with you what you guys think um please like and subscribe to this video 
I'm actually be fishing a lot more tournaments uh, this year and next year. I'm actually probably going to be fishing some Bassmaster Opens next year, so I'm really excited about that. So let me know your guys' thoughts, and I appreciate you guys watching the video. Please like and subscribe to follow along with more of me and my MX21 journeys. Thanks.